My sister Amy is here visiting this week and she likes to garden too so we are knocking out some garden projects. I have strawberries that I need to finish planting. Today we were working on clearing three of the garden beds for cover crops. And then yesterday Amy helped some of the kids work on picking black beans and then they actually shelled them last night. We're getting a lot done. Today Cam found a bunch of black walnuts. It's the season for that. And so we are going around to collect some and we're going to take them to a local place to kind of get them, I don't know what the word is, hold or shelled. And then we'll store them and then take care of the rest of them later. We knew that we had black walnut trees on our property, but this is the first year that we've ever harvested them for eating. And that is mostly because we saw this roadside stand and that they had a machine to hold the black walnuts for you, which takes out a ton of the work. It was super inexpensive to do. It only cost us $5 for a 50 pound bag and just took them only a few minutes and we felt like that was totally worth it for us. We have harvested some nuts before, but never a big batch like this. So we're kind of learning as we go along on how to store these from what I've read and heard. You're supposed to keep them as they are like this. And then when you're ready to eat them, that is when you crack the nuts. We did want to try a few right away. So we cracked them open with a hammer and they were really good. I think we may invest in some kind of a nutcracker to do the rest of these and nuts in future years because Cam and I both really like the taste of the black walnuts. We are dealing with a major problem. I had a big failure this year with how I stored my onions. Amy is chopping onions because they're going bad in our pantry. So we're gonna freeze dry them. Over the last several years, I have done a pantry tour where I'm usually showing our cold room and I have my apples, my onions, and my potatoes all in the cold room stored together. And every year I get a lot of feedback that says you shouldn't store those things together. They will go bad if you store them together. My experience has been that eventually they do go bad, but usually it's not until about February for the apples, March, April timeframe for the onions. So I decided to act on some of that feedback and try to store my onions away from my potatoes and my apples. And the only other place that I have to store them is in our dry pantry, which is at room temperature. At about the beginning of October, I noticed a smell from the pantry and I was like, uh-oh, something is going bad in here. And some of my onions were rotting. It's normal for like a couple of onions or a couple of squash to rot right at the beginning. Like sometimes they don't cure right but for a lot of them to go bad that is a really bad sign so i checked and there were a couple soft ones that i tossed out and then when amy was here we noticed it was smelling really bad so she was like let's let's take care of your onions let's just preserve them 
So we decided to chop them all up and freeze dry them and salvage what we could. There was still a lot of good onion left, but there definitely was a lot of them that had already rotted or partially rotted. I was super glad that Amy was here while we did that because she doesn't mind cutting the onions. It doesn't make her cry. Amy chopped up all of the onions and I went through each bin and sorted through the onions. The ones that were still good, like fully solid, we didn't chop up at all. I just put them all in one basket and I put them right back in my cold room with my potatoes and all of those things that you're quote unquote not supposed to store them with. I did it anyway because from my experience it's more important to have those things cold than storing them in separate places and not having them at that ideal temperature. If you remember, I planted some strawberries in the high tunnel. These are the strawberries that I'm gonna compare those against for outside. Finally got this area all prepped and ready to go, so we're just gonna plant them today. I'm going to be storing about half of the freeze dried onions in mason jars and the other half I'm going to store in mylar bags. And the reason for that is mason jars are easy to get in and out of. So I can take out a little bit of onions here and there for recipes. I put in mason jars about what I think is going to last us a year and anything above and beyond that I'm putting in mylar bags because that's better for storing for longer than a year. The other thing I've been thinking about is I usually use one of these types of lids on top of the mason jars. They work just fine. Somebody did point out to me that the white lids are not as leak proof and airtight and that is true. They are not as good and I had put them on some of my other freeze dried food and I think I may still end up switching those out if I get time. But these, this kind, the ball brand, is leak proof. It is more airtight, so I could use that. But today I am actually going to vacuum seal my jars. I have an attachment to my vacuum sealer, and then you just use a regular canning lid, and you can reuse it over and over and over for this purpose if you're just vacuum sealing freeze dried food in jars. So I'm going to do that instead. Um, accessory. <laughs> Above the tear tab. See, the, it'll go. tear here. Just right, right there. Like that. Go, yeah. push it down. Okay. You can off. hear it click when it's done clicking. That's when it's done. Okay. It clicked. It's done. Aww. You 
usually we eat the red onions fresh. So it'll be interesting to see how we use those this year. And because I already had a bunch in the mason jars, we had some in mylar bags, I thought it would be good to also try to make some freeze-dried onion powder. I've never made this before, but pretty much everything that I have made into a powder that has been freeze-dried is super flavorful and really delicious. So I'm thinking this is going to be the same results, even though I haven't tried it yet. But I will definitely report back on how it is and if it lives up to my my expectations. 